The No Surprises Act bans gag clauses that prevent disclosure of price or quality information in agreements between health plans and certain service providers. Plan sponsors are now required to attest annually that they comply with this requirement. So what is a gag clause? A gag clause is a contractual term used to describe a provision of a contract between two parties that restricts the amount of information a provider may share with a fiduciary or that limits the circumstances under which a provider may recommend a specific treatment option. To put this another way, the Act itself prohibits health plans and insurance issuers from entering into contracts with healthcare providers, provider networks, TPAs, or other service providers that would restrict the plan from providing, sharing, or accessing certain information. Specifically, contracts cannot restrict a plan from electronically assessing de-identified claims information or data from a participant, enrollee, or beneficiary upon request. They cannot restrict a plan from disclosing provider-specific quality of care information to plan sponsors, beneficiaries, participants, or referring providers. And they cannot restrict a plan from sharing the information just mentioned previously or directing such information to be shared with a business associate. The first gag clause attestation is due to be submitted by December 31st of 23, and this covers the period of timing beginning on December 27th, 2020 through the date of the attestation. Ongoing, these attestations will be due by December 31st of each year. But one nuance, this is for any contract entered into after 12 27 20 so if someone has an old contract, they're not forced to change that, but when they do, the gag clause rules will apply. Plan sponsors should work to ensure that any contracts with TPAs or other network service providers do not contain gag clauses. In addition, plan sponsors need to complete the attestation by December 31st. Plan sponsors, otherwise known as fiduciaries, that do not comply may face a penalty for as much as $100 per affected individual per day for a violation. For help with preparing these attestations, self-funded groups can reach out to healthcarereporting.com where a service member can walk you through the process of submission.